Hey YouTube, this is just a video that's going to be showing you a small haul that I got today. Um, I got the new filter for the fish tank. It's back there. It's much bigger than I thought it would be, which is kind of funny. You can see how low the suction tube is for the filter. And that's without the extender. There. The water looks kind of hazy right now, but I think it's just because we changed the filter. There's Goldie. Check out the purple plant, because it was kind of in the way. I'm planning on taking out the pink plant and also this whatever rock. And getting... I have this plant that I just got today as well. I bought this one because it looks more real. So this one will be going where the pink one is. And we want to get like something big that he can swim through. I don't know. So since we changed the filter and the kind of have to like recycle the tank I guess because of that I got more of the Nutrifin cycle to help with that um, I also got finally got the sinking pellets since uh, it's better for him to be eating sinking pellets instead of going up and getting too much air in his air bladder this is from Nut the Nutrifin Max they're small sinking pellets, they're really small and then I got a big bottle of the Water conditioner and the Easy Balance. There's the Easy Balance. And the Aqua Safe. Those big bottles. I don't even really need them yet, but I got them anyways. And I got the brush. To clean the glass. And this is the filter Tetra Whisper EX20. It takes the medium filters. Which I bought a box of the medium filters. It comes with one, but this box gives you four. Plus the time strip. And I got that as well today. This pumps out 110 gallons per hour. Because the rule of thumb with goldfish is you should be doing like 10 times the amount of gallons your tank is. So since it's a 10 gallon tank, 10 times 10 is 100. I also just got back from Walmart and I got these for the uh, hamsters. They're just the KT honey treats. Uh, I won't be giving Ella one because she doesn't like these. I had one sitting in her cage for a long time. She didn't touch it. But she's still not done her... I think that's the nut one. And Boo has her old log, so he's not going to get one yet either. I'm going to give one to Max and uh, Barry. Speaking of Ella, this is what Ella's done with her nest over here. I don't know how she got the shavings up. But now I can't even open this part or all the shavings are going to fall out. A different angle. There it is. It's kind of crazy. She insists on having like this huge nest. And I also got the cats. So a treat. I, they get dry food kibbles. But they occasionally I get the, the Fancy Feast medleys. It's the... If you can see it. Shredded yellowfin tuna fare. It's the only flavor they really like. They're kind of picky. They're not really picky when it comes to like people food. They'll mooch, but when it comes to like pate type wet food for cats, they won't. Bender won't eat anything that's like not fish or tuna. Here's Fry. Fry will eat it. I bought the liver and beef like pate type treat food before and Fry ate it up, but Bender wouldn't touch it. So they have this. They haven't had any. I don't think they've had this since Christmas. So they'll, they, what I do is I split one can between the two of them. Cause it's not really for feeding. They'll still have their dry food, and they usually only eat. They only eat dry cat treats as well. They don't like the moist cat treats that you can get. So that's about it. I think that's all I got. And uh, hopefully the water clears with the fish tank. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and see ya.